Christ, good to go. Just let me know. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday, the Crime Gangs Task Force arrested a 26-year-old member of the Comancheros Outlaw Motorcycle Gang for discharging a shotgun at an Ingle Farm home in June this year. He was charged with discharging a firearm and he'll be appearing in the Port Adelaide Magistrates Court today. Today, this morning, we arrested a 27-year-old Craigmore woman who we will allege assisted him in June at that shooting. She's been charged with aiding and abetting him and she will appear in the Magistrates Court today or tomorrow. Moving to the incident, on June the 23rd, we received a call from the community in Barunga Avenue at Ingle Farm around 7.30 p.m. where gunshots had been heard. We identified a house in Barunga Avenue that had damage to a roller door, the front door and a window consistent with the discharge of a firearm. We recovered a shotgun shell at the front of that property. Investigations from that date led to the arrests yesterday and today. Thankfully, no one was injured. However, the firearm used in that incident is still outstanding and we are seeking community support to find it. Using Crime Stoppers, you can remain anonymous on 1800 333 000. Our investigations are moving quickly and despite the recent arrests, we will continue to search for evidence, and most importantly, that firearm. The Crime Gangs team is also investigating um, a shooting at the Manapara West, uh, Manapara West property on the weekend. Thankfully, again, no one was injured. I'm going to hold it there and open it up. Do you believe those two shootings are linked? We are looking at links between both shootings. Already apparent to us is that there is an outlaw motorcycle gang link and there is also a clear link through the firearm being used. You believe it's the same firearm? The same type of firearm is being used, being a shotgun. There was one arrest today. Um, were you actively looking for this, this, this person? Where did you find them? How, how was it done? So, in the, the Crime Gangs team, uh, in their investigations since the 23rd of June, uh, identified a suspect. That main suspect was arrested yesterday and will be alleging he was the shooter. The person that we found yesterday we will allege um, wasn't there at the time, however, assisted him um, before and or after the shooting. Are the victims, um, are they different most motorcycle gangs? Obviously, has it been, was it targeted? Is there a rivalry between, between gangs? So uh, at the moment, the Crime Gangs Task Force is uh, aware that there is conflict between two gangs the Hills Angels, Outlaw Motorcycle Gang, and the Comanchero. The, uh, the, the task force, as well as resources from the Serious and Organised Crime Branch, being aware of that conflict, have been very busy searching homes of gang members, and at one of those uh, house searches, uh, about a week ago, we found a handgun, with ammunition and that person was arrested he was a Hells Angels member just on the weekend also an arrest was made by Western District CIB when a Hells Angels member was found in possession of a loaded handgun and was arrested for committing domestic violence on his partner
in recent months we have seen uh, gang wars here in more so in the eastern mm. states. Mm. Is it likely that we could see similar scenes here in Adelaide? Yeah. So, uh, outlaw motorcycle gangs um, are involved in serious criminal activity. In South Australia, they are declared criminal organisations. They are competitors in the same criminal activity. Drug trafficking, money laundering, um, and the like. So now and again, there are tensions, and we deploy our resources uh, overtly and covertly to uh, engage with the gangs uh, in um, preventative activities, and we also use enforcement methods, and that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing now two people arrested in two days, and then uh, two others arrested um, in the last few weeks. So um, our commitment and our resolve um, will continue. We have seen conflict before, and we've dealt with it, we've stopped with it, we've suppressed it, and we'll do it again. How do you reassure the public that they're safe given that these two incidents happened in residential areas? Mm, it, it, it is a concern, um, absolutely. Um, so, firstly, I would say um, we have just arrested two people um, for uh, one particular shooting, uh, and um, those two other arrests that I made, uh, that, that I talked of, with, uh, with uh, gang members with firearms, uh, another two, that is. Um, disrupting the gangs and um, with the combined uh, resources not only of the South Australia police but we're connected interstate we're connected nationally with other gang squads with other uh, organized crime units we talk every day we share information we share resources that makes us um, a powerful presence in terms of prevention in terms of disruption in terms of enforcement was the Ingle Farm incident, uh, was, was the target Comanchero or, or Hells Angels? So at the Ingle Farm incident, um, what I'm prepared to tell you is, is that there was um, an outlaw motorcycle gang link. In terms of the Motopara one over the weekend, some of those pictures were quite strange in a sense. There was a lot of commentary on social media about mannequins in the car, obviously the house looked somewhat ordered up. Does that give you an indication that this person almost sensed that this was potentially coming? Look, I think outlaw motorcycle gang members um, know what they sign up for and they know there will be risk and danger and threat. My, uh, my advice or suggestion to gang members is um, if you want to uh, stop dealing and being uh, um, uh, and being dictated to in terms of violence and putting your yourself at risk putting your family at risk get out call us at crime gangs we'll help you what what sparked this conflict between these two motorcycle gangs so the conflict uh it, the origins of the conflict are really difficult to determine you know why because outlaw motorcycle members don't talk to the police um, when we look at investigating cases against outlaw motorcycle gangs or serious and organised crime, it's really difficult. We gather, have to gather circumstantial evidence, we gather forensic evidence, we speak to as many people as we can, CCTV, we make a case without them. We try and prosecute them without having them on board, because simply we have no choice. Final questions. Do you anticipate more arrests that we make in the coming days? Yes. I anticipate we will make more arrests. And just to clarify, the two Hells Angels arrests you referred to in this media conference, have they uh, been reported previously or they're they new as well? I beg your pardon? Have they been reported previously by uh, the media unit, the police media unit, or are they new at least? Uh, the, 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 the shooting in June, uh, I, I don't understand, was reported. Uh, that was. Um, that oh, was an sorry, I'm referring to the Hells Angel with the loaded weapon. Oh yes. And the Hells Angel with property. Uh, my understanding is both of those were, was, were reported. Okay, yes. The twenty-six year old was arrested over the and charged over the Ingle Farm shooting incident. Yes. Is he a suspect in the Monopara West? Not at this time. 
uh, we're in a very, so open mind at the moment. Um, you, I've told you the links that we have, so open mind, um, and um, and he he's certainly not ruled out. And was there anyone home at that Ingle Farm address? Um, I'll I'll circle back to gang members and cooperation. Um, sometimes it's hard to know. What's your message to to these gangs? So. Uh, Joining a gang is going to set you up uh, for a, a life of violence and um, you can't control a lot of it. A lot of it will be brought on by you. Um, you're not safe. Uh, your family certainly isn't safe. Your children aren't safe. So, um, and you're going to get caught at some stage. We're going to catch you. Uh, so if all of that appeals to you, um, well, um, uh, perhaps, you know, you'll have conversations with police at some stage in custody, uh, but um, uh, there, are, um, there are plenty of people leaving gangs as well. Uh, so um, the message is um, we have got resources in this state and around the country um, that look very closely through intelligence and law enforcement partners at your activities and next time there's a knock at your front door or even your back door, it may not be your bikey buddy, it <coughs> might be the Crime Gangs Task Force. What we've seen before here in the States that innocent people have got caught up mm. in, these, in these bikey gangs, are you worried that innocent people will, this, this is going to be a similar case? So, um, SAPOL have a zero tolerance approach to public displays of violence. This is what this is. So we uh, amped up our resources and our response, and we can do that. We're a large organisation. We called upon the resource of all the districts and, and our serious and organised crime uh, partners, investigation branch partners, and that resulted in um, house searches and, and, and um, and, and bona fides and intelligence gathering and suppression and arrests and we'll keep doing that. Are you concerned that the public could be in danger? Um, the activities of outlaw motorcycle gangs present uh, an ever-present risk to the community and, and that's why we work so hard and commit to suppressing their activities. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.